Hi, my name is Chantal Bira. I am a 55 years old French Canadian mother of two adult children. Anne Marie, a 26 year old young woman, and Francis, a 23 year old lovely Singapian young man who is eight years old in his mind. We discovered that our son Francis was seriously mentally handicapped by the age of five. Before that, we suspected something was wrong with him since he was late with accomplishing milestones, such as sitting at 10 months old. He was first officially diagnosed with mild intellectual disability and autism. Aggressiveness and communication has always been his biggest challenges. So the whole family dynamic had to be adapted around his tantrums and limitations. He started taking all sorts of medications from the age of five, with Depakote first and Risperdone soon after. He still had acute behavior issues as he started school and intense intervention. We had some respite and weekend activities for him, but by the age of 10, he was so hard to manage that the organizations expelled him from their program. We were left out without services and support, so we finally had to admit him in a special hospital for autistic children supervised under a psychiatrist for six months. They changed his medications to benzodiazepines such as Ativan and added Rimeron and Largatil to control his behavior. He was able to come back home with the help of special educators that occasionally came to help us. He was able to go back to his school. But two years later, the aggressions came back with puberty and he was admitted for a second time at the same hospital. That is when he was diagnosed with Syngap mutation by Dr. Jacques Michaud at St. Justin Hospital here in Montreal in 2011. When he was able to get out, we had to make the hardest decision of our life, put him in a special home at the age of 14. His medication by then consisted of mostly benzodiazepines and anxiety meds. He was never diagnosed with epilepsy, but his psychiatrist still prescribed him Neurontin as a precaution. He was also prescribed Nuleptil, which is an anti-anxiety and anti-psychotic medication. By the age of 18, he became more and more rigid and refused to go to school. That had serious impact on his academic and intellectual development. He slowly became more anxious and did not want to go to new places and activities, even if adapted for him. He did not have a psychiatrist nor a neurologist for five years because of administration's reasons. Syngap is not known here in Quebec and no one could help us find the right medications. His family doctor tried to change some, but without any su success. His anxiety and aggressive behavior became a daily challenge for his caregivers and we were forced to hospitalize him for a third time, but in an adult hospital. A new psychiatrist accepted to supervise him and he was hospitalized for eight months and he finally got out last October 5th. During that eight months period, they took him off all medications and he currently is on Lamictal and Clonidine and recently takes 120 milligrams of CBD per day. He has been stable for two months now at the age of 24. We are aware that all the challenges are, from, are far from over and as he gets older, he is now limited in his strained activities and interest. He, was, he has developed arthritis and his feet are slowly getting crooked. His gait is worsening, and we were told that he might be in a wheelchair at some point in his life. Since nothing is done here in Canada, 
we rely on the research done in the U.S. An ideal treatment for him seems utopic since he is already 24 years old and because we live in Canada and we cannot travel with him. We are hopeless and learn to live one day at a time, not knowing what will become of him in the future.